It's a question that bothers most Frenchie owners. Why do French Bulldogs throw up so often, even when they seem very healthy? It sounds like your furry friend has a never-ending cycle of throwing up every few days, making it quite a challenge to keep things clean. Now, perhaps you've tried everything to stop your pet from vomiting, right? So what exactly is the problem? Join us today at Dogs Wiz as we unravel possible reasons your French Bulldog keeps throwing up and how you can fix the situation. Causes of Vomiting in Frenchies Number 1. Brachycephalic Obstructive Airway Syndrome The first possible reason your Frenchie occasionally throws up is because it suffers from a condition called Brachycephalic Obstructive Airway Syndrome. Think about it. Frenchies are one of the dog breeds out there with smushed-in faces. Have you ever wondered why? Well, Frenchies fall under the brachycephalic breed category. Brachycephalic breeds are dogs with small skulls, smushed-in faces, and enormous heads. When you look at your Frenchie, you will notice folds around their faces, particularly around their noses, giving them a frowny expression. Brachycephalic dogs also have small noses, elongated soft palate, and a flat face. Other brachycephalic dog breeds are pugs, bulldogs, Boston terriers, and boxers. According to a journal published by the National Library of Medicine, historically, these dogs were bred this way so they could have an advantage at fighting. Unfortunately, this physical characteristic comes at a price. French Bulldogs have compressed air passages along their nose and throat. Therefore, they are more likely to develop brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome, a condition common amongst brachycephalic breeds. This is a condition characterized by respiratory problems, which also lead to digestive problems such as changes in appetite, regurgitation, and vomiting. Now, what do I mean by this? Remember, I mentioned earlier that French Bulldogs have squeezed noses and large facial features. With that type of facial feature, imagine the struggle Frenchies go through when they have to eat in their small and shallow plates. It's tough for them to pick up their food, so they are impatient when eating and they eat fast. In this process, your dog will directly inhale some of its food, which makes it predisposed to regurgitating their food. But wait, there's more. Number 2. Esophageal Disorders Another possible reason your Frenchie throws up could be because it has esophageal disorders. Esophageal disorders are conditions that affect the esophagus, which is the tube that carries food from your pet's mouth to its stomach. Some esophageal disorders that affect Frenchies are megaesophagus, vascular ring anomalies, hiatal hernia, and esophagitis. Now perhaps you're wondering what these medical terms mean. Megaesophagus is a dilation of the esophagus, which occurs as a result of a lack of peristaltic activity, which propels food through your Frenchie's digestive system and aids digestion. Vascular ring anomalies, on the other hand, happen when an artery that should disappear during the fetal development of your pet stays and forms a ring around its esophagus. This ring goes on to trap the esophagus, making it difficult for food to pass through. Hiatal hernia happens when your dog's esophagus and part of its stomach protrude through the esophageal hiatus into its chest cavity. This condition can cause symptoms like heartburn, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. Lastly, esophagitis is simply the inflammation of the esophagus. All these four conditions have vomiting and regurgitation as their common symptoms. But that's still not all. Number 3. Food Allergies One other reason why a Frenchie throws up so often is because it has food allergies. Like humans, dogs can have allergies too. Some food dogs may have allergic reactions to are wheat, soy, corn, egg, pork, and rice. Well, the list is not exhaustive. The interesting part is that dogs get allergic to even their favorite food, some of which are dairy, beef, chicken, and lamb. But wait, I know what you're thinking. You think maybe these foods are bad for dogs in general, right? Nope. This does not necessarily mean that they are bad for dogs. Food allergies occur when your dog's immune system reacts to specific proteins. And if your dog is allergic to a specific food, they may vomit. Other symptoms of food allergies in dogs are itching and diarrhea. Also, if your Frenchie eats poisonous food, they'll most likely throw it up. Now, what do I mean by poisonous food? Well, by poisonous food, I'm not talking about food with poisonous chemicals. Poisonous foods are foods that contain toxins that can make a dog sick. Some of them are onions, grapes, garlic, and chocolate. If your Frenchie eats any of these foods, especially in large amounts, it may get sick and exhibit symptoms like nausea, dizziness, diarrhea, uncontrolled peeing, hyperactivity, and vomiting. Number 4. Food Poisoning Like most dogs, Frenchies love their toys. Particularly, they love to chew on them. But sometimes, they also chew on small objects they find lying around. Tragically, your dog may swallow some of these foreign objects. And when this happens, you will notice symptoms like gagging, retching, or vomiting. Needless to say, your dog does this to expel the foreign object it has swallowed. This also happens when they swallow a bone that is too big or not properly chewed. Other causes of occasional vomiting in Frenchies are gastritis, viral and bacterial infection, motion sickness, intestinal parasites, and drug allergy. Now you may be wondering, what can I do if my Frenchie has any of these conditions? Don't worry, there are solutions. 
Number one, dietary changes. To begin with, you gotta test your furry friend for brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome. Most French bulldogs suffer from this condition, although the severity differs. Brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome is less likely to present itself in dogs older than five years. Vomiting and other digestive symptoms of this condition can be managed by making some changes in diet. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, you can replace the kibble with wet food and serve less fiber and fat to your dog. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you can't feed your dog dry food at all. Preferably, you can make wet food 60% of your dog's diet or mix kibble with the wet food. Number two, surgical modifications. Also, you can opt for nasal, soft palate resection, or tracheal surgery to correct the physical features of your dog, prevent airway obstruction, and improve breathing. Number three, serve meals in anti-choke feeding bowls. To prevent your Frenchie from eating too fast, you can serve its meal in anti-choke feeding bowls with obstacles in them. Naturally, this will slow down your pet's feeding rate. Number four, keep the poisonous food away. In addition to that, avoid feeding your pet poisonous food like chocolate, onions, garlic, and grapes. Check out the foods listed by US Food and Drug Agency as poisonous for our furry friends in the link from the description below. It's important to keep an eye on your dog so they don't sneak behind your back and dig into the trash, looking for food or items that can harm them. Number five, watch out for harmful objects they might chew. Also, keep away portable items, especially plastic objects, that your dog may be tempted to chew. Number six, watch out for food allergies. As a Frenchie parent, it's your responsibility to watch out for food your dog is allergic to. If your Frenchie particularly reacts to a specific food, avoid feeding them those. Number seven, consult with a vet. If you suspect that your Frenchie may be severely sick or has any esophageal disorders, you gotta take them to see the vet ASAP. Your vet will make the right diagnosis and medical prescription to treat or manage the condition. To sum it up, it's important to closely watch your French Bulldogs, especially if you're worried they are sick. When you eventually take your Frenchie to the vet, your vet will most likely want to know the nature of your dog's vomit, whether it's clear liquid, bile, or contains food particles. Also try as much as possible to describe your dog's symptoms so that your vet can have a clearer picture and make the right diagnosis. Did you find the video helpful? Please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.